Hey, what's up guys? Um, just wanted to do maybe like kind of like an energy update. Um, but I uh, just watched this Alba Weinman channeling um, this guy named Peter, um, who it was a it was a very deep, uh, deep channel and a lot of really intense energy was released through this guy's body. And I was doing um, some energy work alongside of him and uh, Yeshua was in, in my tree right above me. And we were spinning this vortex of light um, down through, through in, in tandem with this guy while he was doing this channeling. Um, but the shift is here, guys. I mean, uh, the AI has been taken down and all that's left are these, uh, the, the Anunnaki has been removed. Um, the only thing that's really left are these, they're like these shadow gods that I see. They're like these shadow figures. And that was um, one of the things that we were doing by spinning this vortex is we were like transmuting um, these uh, lower dark, dark entities and shooting them up um, through Metatron's barrier. Um, but we're on the downslope. I mean, the, I we were hitting some walls during that channeling, um, but we removed all those all those beings, and I don't feel any resistance right now. And we're just in this huge vortex in my backyard. If you want to take a look, my mom d did really hard work creating this in the backyard. Um, but it was very very cool. Yesterday I did. Um, I started telepathically talking to my trees like this one right here and the one in my, my front yard. Um, he was, uh, the tree was like, scratch me, I want scratches in that voice. And I was like, what do you mean? Or I had a stick in my hand and he's like, scratch my bark. And um, I started chanting, um, doing some like Native American chanting, um, kind of doing light language, but uh, with like a Native American, I, the, I was start. I started doing light language, and then a Native American um, type of light language came through. But it sounded something like. Um, but each one of the trees had a different chant for for them, and um, I scratched e each one of their trunks. There's four four main trees in my backyard and one in the front yard. Um, but I went went up, went down all the way around, and then went up all the way around. Um, and I think that uh, helped create this vortex today. That when I sat down, I was kind of in a pissy mood when I sat down but I got into this channeling and um, just released a lot of energy uh, uh, transmuted a lot of darkness um, so yeah um, uh, being a fractal of Michael I actually uh, got really com clear communication um, from Yeshua the other day and uh I, I've been in a pissy mood because I'm like, Yeshua, why haven't you been doing all of this stuff that I, I've been doing? And um, he told me that I'm literally like every single fractal of Michael on the planet is as strong as, as the Buddha. Um, so once a fractal of Michael reaches an ascended master state, you become as, as powerful as the Buddha. Um, and when I got drunk, this, this situation happened to me at the Buddhist temple where I was like, like there was, there was like a hundred Buddhist ascended masters with me astrally. And something happened where some other beings came and started manipulating my mind. And I got really frustrated and sad because I was like, how the hell did a hundred Buddhist masters get beaten? Um, and they're saying it's because your mind is literally as strong as the Buddha, um, or your, your, your soul's energy and, and mind and come in tandem is as strong as the Buddha. Um, so that's why that happened to me. Um, but yeah, this vortex was amazing today and, um, we got rid of a lot of stuff here in Denver. Um, 
I'm sure it's happening all across the planet. They also told me that um, a fractal of Michael in St. Louis is uh, doing a lot, a lot of really, really good things. Um, so I connected with his energy and kind of like said, let's combine what we know together and share share techniques and methods on like a higher plane. Uh, my telepathy isn't that, uh, perfect enough to to hear him um, specifically say, like talking to me, but I was like, let's connect higher selves and then we can both exchange downloads of what we've been doing. Um, so we did that and um, yeah, uh, Peter in this channeling, I, I really believe this channeling. Um, I've always called myself the tip of the spear and um, Peter called him in this channeling, called himself the tip of the spear too. So. Um, this is one I really, really vibe with, but he says that, um, the monetary value of dollars and of fiat currency is going to go into the trash soon. So like this year, um, so be ready for that. He also said, go to Hawaii. Um, Hawaii is going to be a really, really, really big vortex of a lot of light workers. A lot of people are being drawn to Hawaii right now. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, it's amazing what I felt today and what we accomplished and thank you, Yeshua. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, many, many things are going to change really fast. They, they're telling me that there's, um, there's an Essene or a, or a fractal of Michael or Metatron in in pretty much every major city on on earth and they're all going to wake up and become ascended masters and like denver i've gotten denver pretty much pretty clear i mean there's not really anything um here anymore that i can feel um especially after today um but every uh every fractal of michael in each city is going to do do the same thing and clear out your your individual city so we can all ascend together and live happily ever after in a, a blissful wonderland of love and light. And um, one thing I, I did want to throw on the end is these creator source gods that are dark, they can't, they can't really fathom a world without war because it's so much fun to them. And Archangel Michael and father uh let me go through the path of being being a source god or being being a god um i thought i was apollo for for a bit and uh, i thought i was thor for a bit i, thought I was odin for a little bit but it was looking at it from a higher like a 15th dimensional perspective like where archangel michael resides is that it was all it was all a learning um a learning tool for me to have empathy for those beings, you know, and their, their main thing is that they, they think like messing with people is too much fun. Um, but my angelic conclusion that makes so much sense to me is that if you, if you can comprehend who father is or even one of the archangels is, um, those beings can create things like that, you know, and their comprehension of the universe is far exceeds anything that any being has, any being has ever seen here on earth. And to doubt those beings abilities, ability to create a world without that is perfectly individualized, that sustains your deepest desires for, for anything, um, to, uh, to think that there is nothing that you're having too much fun creating darkness and war and stuff like this. Um, you're doubting those beings abilities to create a perfect world for you, you know, and it's unfathomable what those beings could create. And to, to think that that is the only thing like war and destruction and messing with people's minds you're doubting on such a high level, you know, you're, you're doubting everything. You're, you're doubting literally creation itself, you know, 
you're 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 basically claiming that you know everything in the entirety of every single creation out there not even just this universe but you're you're claiming that you know every single thing in every single universe and because of that you're going to keep creating destruction and war it just it makes no sense so i'm going to leave you with that hopefully some cabal members watch this and give me a thumbs up uh, bye guys